Hey guys, good morning. It's Becky Bamboo. Today's Monday, May, uh, I don't know, like 21st, 2012. I might be wrong on that, 22nd. I don't know. Anyway, um, so this is my week 24 of pregnancy. Six month mark. I mean, oh my gosh. It doesn't, it, it's crazy how fast this thing goes. It's kind of like um, your post-op life. You think... Oh, you know, when when you already have first have surgery, you think, uh, you know, it's it's like forever until I am going to be six months post-op. And then all of a sudden you're like nine months post-op and you're like, what? Really? What happened? <laughs> so it's the same thing. Um, it feels like just yesterday I was, I was telling you guys and I was telling family and friends that I'm expecting and wham, six months later, here I am. It, time really does fly. Um, so uh, week 24, I feel great this week. Today is one of the, uh, I've had two, this is the second like really good day I've had post-pregnancy. Um, or I guess w during pregnancy. Um, I had one a few weeks back where I just felt phenomenal. And today's another day where I just feel really good. I have a lot of energy. I slept amazing last night. Sleep is definitely um, a challenge during pregnancy between um, trying to get comfortable and ha and um, having to go to the bathroom. It's hard to come by, really. And having to pee a lot is something that I have dealt with almost since, like, the first day I, I conceived. Like, it's not unusual for me to get up five or six times a night to go to the bathroom. Um, last night I only had to get up once, and it was, like, glorious. <laughs> it was glorious to sleep. So I think that's what contributes to me feeling so good today. But anywho, um, so yeah, I'm doing really well. Um, Weight-wise, uh, today is Monday, so that's my weigh-in day. I did not gain any weight this week, which, of course, leaves me feeling very good. So uh, 24 weeks and uh, 21 pounds of weight gain. So not bad. Not, you know, I was hoping to be at like maybe 10 pounds at this point, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, I've decided and learned to stop stressing out about the weight gain. Um, it doesn't do me any good. It, I'm gonna gain what I need to gain and my body needs to gain and I need to just get over it. So I've kind of just let it go. And I will say that my first trimester, I was hungry. I was hungry all the time and I'm not talking about mental hunger I'm talking about like grumble in your stomach get shaky if you don't eat hungry so I ate a lot in my first trimester now um, the last couple weeks I have noticed it's really backing off um, the hunger is I, I still get hungry and I still get hungry you know on a regular basis but I'm not, I'm not like I was. I'm not feeling like I need to eat every hour of the day. Um, I'm feeling more like a few meals and a few snacks are really, t you know, really controlling everything. And maybe it's that I'm, I'm trying to, I'm really trying to make good choices on what I'm having. Um, I'm still eating lots of fruit, which I have done for, since my surgery. <clears throat> I get asked a lot about fruit post-gastric bypass and I have heard a lot of people say oh no you can't eat fruit anymore because it has sugar in it it has sugar but it's fruit sugars they're fructose which your body absorbs differently than like glucose sugars um it, it, it naturally absorbs fructose at a slower rate I've never dumped on sugar never and I'm almost two years post-op and I've never dumped on sugar and I'll tell you like I, uh, let me just explain what fruit I have in my house right in this moment. I have bananas. Well, I had a bananas until this morning. I ate the last one. But I have watermelon, honeydew melon, strawberries, oranges, and apples. I have six different kinds of fruit in my house. That's normal for me. If I don't have that much fruit in my house, it's like I haven't been to the store in a month. Because that's the one thing that I stay stocked up on. I will just make a special trip to the store just to buy fruit. I have always have fruit, and I and I tell you, I, one thing my sur I remember my surgeon talking about was, you know, like certain fruits may be 
problematic for you, like watermelon. I can eat a huge bowl of watermelon and not get sick on it. I've never, I've never dumped on it. I've never gotten sick on fruit. So, um, try it if, for those of you post-op R and wires. Don't eat a huge bowl of it, <laughs> but try it here and there and try different fruits and see what works for you. I absolutely love fruit. Fruit saves my ass like no other. When I get really hungry and I really like know I've already had a lot of calories today, I need to eat something lower calorie, fruit is my go-to thing. Fruit and cheese. I eat a ton of cheese too. ton of like the little Baby Bell waxy wrapped cheeses. I have two different varieties of those in my fridge right now. I uh, and I have string cheese in my fridge. I am a cheese and fruit holic. I swear I am. But so I'm still, you know, I'm still eating good in that regard. I'm still trying to make good uh, protein choices. But I will say, pregnancy brings the need for carbs. It just does. So um, if you're thinking about getting pregnant post RNY or even post lap band, you have to remember that your body needs carbs when you're growing a baby. So the low carb, no carb thing doesn't really work very well. Um, you need it to maintain blood sugar. And uh, I find that if I don't have a good carb source in a meal, I pay for it because my blood sugar goes in the basement. And then I am scrambling, feeling awful, shaking, trying to get my blood sugar to come back up. Um, there's lots of RNY people out there who know what I'm talking about with this. It just, it's not fun. So, um, <clears throat> don't think that your weight loss surgery rules are completely something you're going to be sticking to the rest of your life if you get pregnant. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. You have new rules that you have to follow <laughs> during pregnancy. Um, and I, in a way... I've gotten to where I'm really in control over this, uh, the pregnancy stuff, and I'm dreading going back to the weight loss surgery rules because, um, honestly, it's a little easier knowing you can eat carbs and cake and whatever. But, um, you know, I've, I've made a couple mistakes. <laughs> I've had some pretty epic bouts of dumping syndrome during pregnancy because I've gone overboard on sweets, but, you know... We do that anyway from time to time, and that's part of why we had R and Y anyway, was to so we would dump and we would be reminded, you're not supposed to eat this shit anymore. So anyway, um, yeah, food wise, I'm doing really well. I'm not ne I'm not eating like I was. Um, I think that's probably why my weight has stabilized. Um, still, I work a lot. I'm really active. Um, I get I keep getting asked a lot about why am I not going to the gym like I did. And I think it's time to address that. Um, I will say that when I first found out I was pregnant, I had a long talk with my um, OBGYN about um, my pre-pregnancy life. Um, gastric bypass, became a gym rat, running, um, d you know, doing races, um, really working out hard, lost 237 pounds. Um, the whole, the whole thing. And, um, so he had a good solid background of where I came from. I wanted to know of all that stuff I was doing physically, um, what could I continue to do safely during pregnancy? And, and he told me all of it was safe. Uh, we talked about heart rate zones, like he wanted me to stay within a certain heart rate and not exceed that because that's overexerting myself. And um, other than that, that I basically, um, if I go to the gym, make sure that I don't overexert myself. I don't overdo it. Don't push yourself. Don't do, don't run harder than you did the day before, anything like that. And uh, what I was finding was, is that that's exactly what I was doing because that's exactly what I did to get to my goal, weight loss surgery goal. I would go to the gym, and if I ran at a 4.5 one day, I tried at a 4.6 the next. And if I ran at a 4.6 that day, I tried at a 4.7 the next. I was constantly pushing myself. And <clears throat> a few times of overexerting myself and feeling awful, sick, miserable, um, I went back to him and I said, I'm having, a, I'm having a hard time with this because I realized that that's, that's my gig. When I go to the gym, 
When I'm in the gym, I'm in the mental zone of I'm here to succeed. I'm here to do better than I did the last time I was here. And honestly, guys, that's the mindset that I have. When I when my foot, foot, foot hits the floor in the gym, it's I'm going to kick some ass because that's the mindset that I've had to have to lose 237 pounds. And it's not a good mindset when you're pregnant. It's really not. And it makes you, I feel, I mean, I've had some days where I felt so sick from being in the gym because I did not listen to my doctor. So after, after that, um, I talked to him about it and we decided it would be best for me to stay away from the gym and just do walking outside, walk the dog, um, cycle. I'm, I love to bike. Um, so I, you know, I bike and, um, just things that, I can better control myself with exertion. And uh, even I even tried to go back not that long ago to the gym, and I, and I just totally overdid it again. Um, I did the stair climber. I did the elliptical. I ran. I lifted weights all in the same day. I just I cannot control myself in the gym. I cannot get myself out of the mindset that I'm there to kick ass. <laughs> and that's, I mean, it's sad but true. And honestly, I, you know, when I talked to him about it, I said, I honestly don't want to get out of that mindset because when I have this baby, I want this baby weight gone. And, and, and I know that the key to doing it is going to be to walk into the gym and kick ass the same way that I did before. And he said, I completely agree. And he said, I completely agree that that mindset is healthy and positive for you, but not during pregnancy. So that's why... Um, I'm not a gym rat during my pregnancy. I, I cannot control myself. I just can't. Even with a heart rate monitor on watching it, I would be up out of my zone so fast because I just, I just would. And I, you know, so it was a fight. And um, it's a lot more peaceful to just not stress out about that stuff. So I walk a lot and I have a very physical job that is keeping me active. And um, I think that my weight gain reflects that I have some control over this, that I am, that, that I'm having as much control over it as I can. Um, <clears throat> I'm not, I haven't gained an, an excessive amount of weight. Um, and I, and I continue to, um, be mindful. I'm mindful of what's going in my body and it's not always great. I mean, I'll eat Taco Bell, I'll eat cake, you know. But I'm, I constantly think about what I'm doing. And even when I make the choice to eat cake, I go, okay, I'm having some cake today. Okay. And I go on. But I know I had it, and I, and I accept it, <clears throat> and, and I feel like my, my body said I wanted some cake. And so I had some. When I was not pregnant, I didn't, like, my body didn't go, you need to eat cake today. You need to eat it. Just eat it. <laughs> you know, it's it's just a very different. It's, and, and I I'm big on I believe in listening to my body. Um, I learned to do that through my weight loss surgery, and uh, my body tells me what it needs. The last couple of weeks, it's been saying red meat, red meat. I need red meat, and I had steak last week, and I had steak again yesterday, and now I'm good. Like my body's like, okay, cool. I just needed some iron. You know, like that's just. I listen to it when it says I want fruit I give it fruit when it wants protein I give it protein when it wants carbs I give it carbs like that's I just listen to it and I feel like that's a key that's something that's really important so the, all you post-op people who are new newly post-op learn to get in tune with your body really do because it's really important so anyway that's where I'm at I'm getting ready to go work on my nursery so um, I can't wait to share it with you guys it's gonna be so cute um, I just, it's, there's a lot to do yet. So, um, that's where I'm at, but I feel great. Um, thank you to those of you watching. I'm so jealous of all of you who are coming back from Vegas. I saw all the pictures and everything. Oh, I'm so jealous. Uh, maybe next year. But, um, anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful week, and I will check in soon. Love you guys.